Kate Milton very elegant and regal in silver one-shoulder Jenny Peckham at diplomatic reception. Perhaps the most glamorous duty for a queen to be is attending black tie events. Naturally, all of those fancy outings located everywhere from Mumbai to New York require an extensive amount of formal wear. The Princess of Wales seemed to have this part of the job figured out. During her royal tenure, Kate has shown off a vast number of formal gowns, favoring designers Jenny Peckham and Alexander McQueen in every hue, fabric, and style. Indeed, few do formal wear quite as well as the princess. If Kate felt down at hearing her husband was to undertake a six-week posting to Falkland Islands, she was not letting on. Instead, the princess looked every inch the glamorous hostess as she and Prince William hosted a charity dinner. The couple held the dinner at St. James's Palace for the National Memorial Arbitrum Appeal, of which the Duke is a patron. The dress was made from chiffon satin material. Kate paired the dress with a stunning pair of Art Deco-style earrings from Butte Jewelry. The style name is Ava or Ava. Butte described the earrings as royal vintage style. They're sterling silver with a set of paste stones hung from 9 carat gold hoops. They're handmade in London. When Kate wore the earrings in 2011, they were exclusive to Jenny Peckham. Butte has since chosen to make them publicly available as part of their collection. Finally, Kate wore her Jimmy Choo Vamp sandals. The Champagne Gitter sandals featured crossover straps, a 5.5-inch heel, a 1-inch platform, and a gold tone buckle stamp with the Jimmy Choo logo. The NMA is a charity and 150-acre visitor site on the edge of the National Forest in Stadfordshire. It is part of the Royal British Legion and exists to ensure that the unique contribution of those who have served in sacrifice and conflict are never forgotten. More than 300,000 families, servicemen, veterans, and members of the public visit the 150-acre site each year. The appeal sought to raise £12 million in funding to ensure facilities can be provided for widows, families, comrades, and the public, turning the NMA into a world-class center for remembrance. For this occasion, Kate Milton also revealed she used to be a church choir girl. Georgina Wessels knew Kate from her time at the University of St. Andrews where they lived on the same street. The violinist, Nicolai Benedetti, said, Kate asked me if I felt nervous. I explained that playing for a small number this evening is more nerve-wracking than playing for 2,000 in a vast hall. Kate said, I know what you mean. I once sang in a choir in a church. The Duchess also bumped into an old acquaintance at the three-course charity dinner, which was hosted in the palace's picture gallery. The Duchess's striking off-shoulder dress sent royal fans into a tailspin, and it's easy to see why. We were blown away with her custom-made one-shoulder dress by one of her favorite designers, Alexander McQueen, at the 2019 BAFTAs. The beautiful frock had a pleat detail at the sleeve and billowed in the gentle pleats running through the skirt. We loved the off-white color. It gave the royal an ethereal look. Analysis of Google search data revealed that online searches for the one-shoulder dress exploded 733% in the UK on January 10th, two days after Kate appeared wearing the dress. A new finding by fabric experts Dalton Mill Fabrics revealed that online searches for one-shoulder dress skyrocketed to seven times the average volume in one day. The Duchess of Cambridge looked every bit the future monarch in the three special portraits captured by Paolo Reverosi to commemorate her 40th birthday. Though she married into the royal family only a decade ago, she has settled into her role with an almost inborn grace. You may have noticed that Kate's accessories were on point. Kate styled her outfit for the pair of diamond drop earrings that once belonged to Princess Diana, and silver Jimmy Choo, Romy and Viola, glitter high heels. True Cinderella shoes, they had that point toe, dazzling embellishment across the entire shoe, and even the stiletto heel. For this award in 2023, Kate Milton opts for a white floor-length one-shoulder Alexander McQueen dress, completing the designer look with elbow-length black opera gloves and statement gold earrings believed to be from Zara. Now if you think that this dress looks familiar, there could be a very good reason why. The McQueen style is the same dress worn by the princess for the 2019 BAFTAs, only it's been altered. Unlike the 2019 version, this year's gown swaps the floral detailing for an oversized white statement bow that drapes side to side.